we're flipping three coins and the outcomes are represented by a string of H's and T's. For example, you could have HTH, which means you had a head followed by a tail followed by a head. How many elements are there in the sample space? You need to realize that this is a perfect example of the fundamental counting principle. All we have to do is decide how many ways can you uh, look at the first coin, how many ways can you look at the second coin, and how many ways can you look at the third coin. Well, there's only a possibility of a head or a tail, so for the first coin there are two possibilities. You can look and see a head, you can look and see a tail. But the same thing is true for the second coin and the third coin. So by the fundamental counting principle, there are eight ways to do that, which means there are eight elements in the sample space. Second part. Express the event there are more heads than tails as a set. Remember, events are nothing but subsets of the sample space, so obviously you can write an event as a set because that's what it is. Now because there are three coins, when they say more heads than tails, what they really mean is that there better be either two heads or three heads. That's the only way out of three coins is you can have more heads than tails. So they're really asking us about uh, counting the three coin tosses that have two heads or three heads. We could use a tree diagram, but I think this one's probably easier enough to just, as I would say, figure it out. If you want to do a tree diagram, that's perfectly okay. But what I'd say is, if there are two heads, those two heads have to either be the first two, which makes head, head, tail, or the last two, which would be tail, head, head, or the tail could be in the middle and the heads would be on each side and you'd get head, tail, head. So there are only three ways to get two heads. And obviously, there's only one way to get three heads. That's just head, head, head. So again, an event is a set. In fact, it's the subset of the sample space. And it simply has those four that we've already found in it. So the event, there are more heads than tails, is the set containing HHT, THH, HTH, and HHH. Third part, what is the probability that there are more heads than tails? We've done all the legwork if you think about it. The basic probability principle says that the probability of getting more heads than tails is just the number of ways you can get more heads over the number of ways you can get any combination of three, which is just the number of elements in the sample space. These are equally likely, which is the reason we can apply the basic probability principle. But we've already done all the work now, so we know that there are four ways to get more heads. That was the second part of what we've already done. And we also know that there are eight elements in the sample space. We did that as the first part of the question. So the probability that there are more heads than tails is 4H, which of course is just one half. 